Hi guys, today I am so very excited to be doing a video with Jones Road Beauty. Um, they didn't reach out to me, I reached out to them. I was getting tons of ads for their products and this is Bobbi Brown's brand. Um, and I was getting tons of ads for their products and they just looked so good and like so intriguing. So I reached out and I was like, you know, what's the worst they can say no? Um, I thought, you know, they probably will because they're an expensive brand and I have a very small channel. Um, they said yes and they actually sent me products super quickly and they were so nice and supportive and they actually sent me all the things that I really wanted to try. So I'm so excited to be trying this stuff for you guys today. If you don't know anything about Jones Road Beauty, they are a clean, um, no makeup makeup brand essentially. Um, they have very like glowy products, very um, my skin but better, accentuating products, not like heavy duty concealer, matte, things like that. And if you guys are familiar with me and my channel, you know that's my vibe. I very rarely wear makeup and when I do, it's very, very minimal. So we're going to go through and do like a little first impressions and I'm very excited. They did send me a brush, which I'm going to use for the main product, which you guys I'm sure have seen. Um, it comes in this like nice paper packaging, no plastic. My only issue I have to say even before I get started is the products are very big. They're all cream products and um, they're very, very big. And I feel like cream products don't last as long because they more easily get bacteria in them. Um, so I do wish they had smaller sizes, which would also lower the price. Um, or even like a testing sit kit or something like I wouldn't have actually reached out to them if they had had like minis like you could try minis travel size or just like a little set of like their top three best products like in minis um, because it's such a big investment and you don't know if it's going to work for you. So I'm hoping they do that at some point but I got the Miracle Balm. I got the Wet the Foundation which is a moisture tint. I'm so excited. Um, another Miracle Balm, two different colors, and then I got a lip product. First, we're going to go in with the coverage product, so I'll get into the Miracle Balms later because those are like, they're like, holy grail products. The Wet the Foundation I got in the shade Light. There's not that many shades, that's because it is such a light coverage. I'm a little bit nervous that this is going to be too dark for me. Now, I'm just going to apply it with my fingers because it is low maintenance and I don't really use anything. Maybe brushes here and there, but mostly I use my fingers. So we're going to pull the hair away as much as we can it looks very like a whipped not whipped but like look at that it's beautiful so i'm just going to take what's on there it looks a teeny bit dark so let's go in it's very creamy it has a smell but it's very very natural so let's go in you can see my redness so we'll see how much it covers that it feels very moisturizing I'll go a little bit more on the bottom here because it is I do have so much redness. It definitely feels creamy and it doesn't feel like it's going to dry me out or cling to dryness. It does look a little bit dark. I probably could have gone for the fair shade. I think there is one or two lighter than this one. It definitely doesn't look matte or dry. Let's see if it clings to my wrinkles. I do see a lot of the women who I see use this on um, Instagram have wrinkles. You know, they're more um, middle aged. Um, which is nice because usually you're only seeing like young 20s try products like this. So, so far I can't say it doesn't feel like anything on my skin um, because it does feel like a moisturizer. Like it feels like a thick moisturizer. Like if you use like a gel moisturizer or something because you just want it to absorb and go away. <laughs> that's not what this feels like. It feels really nice. Like even like the what's left in my hand feels nice. Can you see? It definitely, I don't say it feels tacky. Maybe a little bit more like just moisturized. Like very, very, very moisturized. But I just want you to be able to see what this looks like. Um, there's in the bright sun, so you can really see all the imperfections. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely looks glowy and like it looks good. But the exciting part, okay. First, let's just do the lips to get that out of the way. This is the lip tint in shade Rose or Nude Rose, I should say. By the way, they are cruelty free. I don't believe they're vegan. They may have a few products. That's what this looks like. The color is super pretty. Ooh, that feels good. Oh, that feels really nice. It's not like super pigmented. I'm gonna say right now already, I like this. We got two of the Miracle Bombs. This is their product that's kind of like an all over. You can do anything with it, bronze, highlight, blush, all over color, whatever you wanna do. Um, so I got two of them. I got one in Magic Hour, which I'll show you. It's more of like a all over kind of color. They have lots of different colors, more for deeper skins, light skin, you know. We have a translucent one that just kind of gives you that glow. And then I also got Flushed, which is like a blush that doesn't have any shimmer or glow in it. 
and you can use these without any foundation or coverage i would um but just for this video i wanted to try everything apparently this is like the best brush to use it's called the everything brush i could probably use this for the foundation as well this is the product that got me excited to try the brand in the first place like i said they're big like that is a big product it is one point 75 ounces like that's a lot that's like almost double the regular foundation like i also wanted to mention is that the reason i was so nervous and to try these which is why i reached out instead of purchasing was because my skin is not very perfect you can see i have plenty of scarring i have redness i have discoloration skin texture um uneven tone all that stuff and a lot of people you see trying these products yes some of them are older and it's very good looking on them and it doesn't like dehydrate them or add to any maturity but I don't see people with a lot of scarring, acne, that kind of thing wear these products. I haven't. So that is one of the reasons I really want to try it, really wanted to do a review as well, which is why they sent them to me to share my opinion. Um, but I'm really excited to show you guys that also don't have perfect skin, um, what it looks like on your skin. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It looks like a very, look how beautiful that is in the light. Oh my god. It's a very glowy, like golden bronze and I don't even want to touch it, it's a little pretty. But we're going to use this kind of as like an all over bronzer um, and I'm going to use this brush so I'm going to just mix it around. I really want to go in well. Okay. On my nose. Oh my god. Do you see that? I look like I was just at the beach. Do you see that? <laughs> you don't see that. I'm already obsessed with this. Honestly, it's thick and it is moisturizing. Like, if you have oily skin, I think you would hate this. This is the kind of thing that, like, I dream of. Do you see this on my cheeks right here? It literally looks like I just got back from the beach. I'm gonna put a little under my eyes just for the fun of it. Because usually when I get sunburned, it kind of lifts there. That's what this looks like. It's like a reddish bronze. Like, I look like <laughs> I, look like I got a little bit of sun at the beach. Does that not look beautiful? I'm sold. And then I got flushed, which I was really excited about because that one does have that shimmer in it, which is what gives me that. <laughs> that. I have a couple blush colors. I have a new peachy one. This one is more of like kind of exactly the color I'm wearing, so that worked out. I'm gonna use the brush again and just kind of swirl it. It's so much more pigmented than you would think. Look at that. Like, this is so easy to look. I feel like it's foolproof. Like, look at the difference for me before and now. I am gonna put a touch of mascara on real quick. Um, I'll be right back. I feel like this looks so good. Guys, this looks so good. If you have mature skin, if you have dry skin, I feel like this is gonna be your savior. Like, my skin feels so dewy and gorgeous. And just like, look at that. Honestly, like I'm telling you right now, if you have oily skin, this is not your friend. Um, maybe like just as a highlighter or something but like the what the foundation is is for dry skin i'm telling you right now it doesn't seep into texture or lines like it looks so nice it kind of sits there and like really hydrates doesn't make any of my flakes or dryness like accentuated it feels so moisturizing and soft my skin feels like plumped i just want to like do a photo shoot i'm loving this so much and i'm so grateful they wanted to work with me on this video and i would really recommend it like i know like i said they are expensive i would say like 1000 percent. i would recommend if they had minis or like half the size travel size something i mean they could do something so great with like one of the foundation one of the miracle bomb in one color and then one in another color like stackable take my ideas guys if they did that i would be like screaming from the rooftops my only hesitation is the price but if you have dry skin or mature skin guys this might be it and honestly like if you didn't want to do the three steps i did you could do just the foundation use whatever you have the miracle bomb that first one in the magic hour like i'm obsessed with it the blush i love i could take it or leave it just because it's like so pricey and when it's a blush like i feel like you're only using it on that one area of your face um right so you're not going to go through it as quickly the actual product itself is just stunning it's stunning it's stunning. So again, thank you so much to Jonesor Beauty um, for sending these to me. I am obsessed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope this helped you guys out. Leave me any questions you might have down below. And let me know if you're going to try out their products. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> but um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.